Ah, the bay. So fascinating. So wonderful. Here, we see Magdalene Bay, beaming with life. How? of one of the most simple creatures. Ladies and gentle fishes. I got a tweet the other day. It read something along the lines of, hey, H.C. Hayes, it'd be really cool if you listen to the new Magdalena Bay album. And I read that word, Magdalena Bay, and I said, wow. What the hell? What, what the, the hell? hell? I instantly was like, okay, that's either the coolest band name or the most beautiful lake I've ever seen in my entire life. Is that a real place? Magdalena Bay is a real place along the western coast of the Mexican state of Baja, California. Is the entire album just like ASMR sounds of like, what the? It's pretty fucking good. Did y'all hear that seagull that I just did? Hold on, I'm gonna try it again. Get me on, get, get me on, make some noise. Look at this. Oh, look at this cover art, bro. Wow. 100% a anime reference to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Come on, let's go. All to say, very cool. Love the art direction on this cover art. You can actually see the skin like ripple up. I don't know how they did it. Maybe they did it just themselves. Maybe they're like a super low-key DIY kind of uh, band. I think they have like under a million, right? Oh no, right on top of a million monthly listeners. If we go to their top songs, a lot from the new album are getting close to their big ones. So people must really be digging the album. Let's check it out, dude. Clocking in at 15 songs, 53 minutes and 42 seconds. I don't know what their vibe is. I don't know what we're diving into. All that I can really tell from their bio over here is that it says synth pop straight from the simulation. So let me just lock right on in, baby. Let's go for it. She looks like me. Hello. Hello. Whoa. Oh, the screaming, the roller coaster ride. Down the line, over the waves. Two kids and a military time the town will change the name. Oh, the vocals. Grows up young, screams and grows. Bang, bang, and it's customary. Oh, these synth bells. Oh, the, and the bass coming in now. Whoa! Whoa! Okay! Oh, dude, I love how they switch up so much. Ooh, these chords coming in. Okay, we're getting a little up tempo. Whoa! Dude, her vocals are so. It's so much to take in. Dude, this is a really tight track to open in on. They're really showing, they're not showing their whole hand, but they're showing you a really good first look. Wow, that's so weird and different. I kind of love it. My first instinct goes directly to her voice. What a unique tone, dude. Reminds me of like the almost childlike Britney baby voice almost. <laughs> in a good way, in a good way. It rises above the rest of the chaotic mess of the instrumental, right? The entire production kind of does hinge on that vocal line. I get a little symbolism of like being born into a military family, losing your family early, because of these things out of your control, screaming at the graves, and then saying at the end, it's ordinary, it's normal. Oh man, Argentine Fabergé. Who? Both Micah and Matt. Okay, hello, My, we have names, Micah and Matt, or Argentinian. Micah was born in Buenos Aires, and Matt has Argentinian heritage. <laughs> Matt White, bro. Hearing the song is like giving a cat a ball of yarn. It's like, wow, so many things. I have to just unravel this now and go through it, which should mean we get into the next one, Killing Time. Okay. Immediately, so much more familiar. Oh, 
vibrato. Oh, the synth sneaking in. Ooh. Oh, there's a dark side of this. Oh, and we're happy again. Ooh. Oh, the keys are killing it. Dude, I love how she follows that line all the way up and we just fade out. And then we... Oh! Oh, we're ripping the mower! Chainsaw! Oh, that's so cool to go into a, a guitar solo with that. So you weren't kidding when you said that they were geniuses. I just gotta say, man, as a music nerd, the fact that we have a little bit of play off of that seven, like leaving it unfinished here, to then get to the outro and the only difference between that heavy part is a one interval, like one little interval change. It's just like toys with the same essential like concept of what you're doing in the music to apply a unfinished feeling to it. So when you get that kind of play off of it in the outro, it, it just almost satisfies you or it should satisfy you, but it doesn't because it's a three to a four instead of a seven to a one or something like that. It's just gnarly. That's just, that's just gnarly. <laughs> uh, and the long ass reverb. Bravo. Oh, are we just in the next one? Wait, this is an interlude? I'm floating in the Magdalena Bay, baby. I'm floating away. It's you, the purest you. The next stage, the next phase is here. I'm ready. It's you, you, you. Whoa! Something is inserted. Something is inserted. Ooh. It's you, the purest you. Come on! Ah! Oh, why is this one groove? It's here, imaginal disc. Say hello. It's you. Oh my god. She just gave me my own fucking disc, dude. Pulling it out of my- Dude, that's just crazy. I feel like I was just baptized in, in the bay. With the applause? Like you're greeting the congregation? Well, I didn't even know I was a goddamn caterpillar. She's telling me, hey, it's time to go into your cocoon. It's time to become the next person. Okay, the next one is image. This is this is the image of us. What we are trying to change into. This is this is the vision, the image. You need all of it. Let me know if you have some extra. Shoulders got this one, y'all. Oh, dude, no, that synth is taking it all the way to the top. No idea, dude. No clue. But God, it's funky, dude. Oh my, oh 
my god! Peace! Meet your brand new image. Oh my god. Holy shit. They gave me tits. Wow! Okay, I'm sorry. I'm reading into the lyrics now. It's such a strut. Do you see my shoulders? I love the chorus, dude. How it starts off with the, oh my god. You slide up, you have that momentum, you have that potential, and then you go, oh. Very nice. Make me in your image. See, that gives me like God energy. Kind of seeing like the doctor as God, it says here. Could be a reference to like the Genesis creation, like creating man and woman and stuff like that. Only one more minute, so hot. Yeah, this song kind of feels like stepping in a little bit to like the incubator, right? In the previous song, we've said, yes, we want to do it. We're taking that step. And now that we've like committed, it's like, oh my God, everything's so different. Everything's so new. Everything's so incredible. I didn't know that this was a sophomore album. Now that I know this is a sophomore album, now I kind of want to go back and get into the first one. The next song though is uh, Death and Romance. Oh yeah. The, it's like Yacht Rocky. Vocal cry. Dude, you know who she her voice reminds me of? Don't clown me, but Vanessa Carlton, dude. Dude, they are fantastic musicians. Wow, that huge swell, dude. I love, 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 love how much, yes, vocal detail there is in the lyrics, but the fact that it's not like slamming you in the face, like really, like you can tell that the focus is like on the overall production of the song. Nothing's like super overwhelming. It's so just energy focused. I have to run that back a little bit. I wonder how they made that. Oh, and you get this beautiful arpeggiator too now. That's the magic. That's the goddamn magic. I just have so much fun listening to this bass line, bro. See how she leads you? She leads you! She plays with the vocals too. She's has she has fun. She has fun with it. Oh. There's the waves. Dude, I can finally hear a little bit of those vocals in there now. Talking about how all through life and death you will still be together with the one that you love. Oh, I'm also thinking of Carly Rae Jepsen, bro. Especially with how much fun she's having with those melodies in the chorus and how slidey they are. Wow. That's spectacular. Listen, they let you listen to that filter the whole time too. Drums. Okay, 
wow, they carry an incredibly strong dynamic hand in their music. Like they are so unafraid to throw in chords out of nowhere, you know? Like a lot of energy that comes from the song, genuinely I think comes from drums and bass, right? And as much as we have those kind of doing the same things, they just change that shit up so beautifully, asking the question whether or not it's just for death or for romance. Oh, dude, that's crazy. Entering a relationship for a romantic interest or just to not die alone. Mm. Ow. Glad I'm not single. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. We gotta get in the next one. I gotta hear that transition again. Fear, sex. Little drum machine. God. Oh, it's nice, it's warm. Dude, the vocal effect, the, the tightness of that reverb. You can't even really tell what those drums sound like. Oh! Oh! The melody! Wow! Those melodies! Oh, and now we go down, unlike the other song where we went up. What is that rotation? Oh! Oh. Shut up. What? Dude. Okay, Magdalena Bay. I was unfamiliar with your game. Where did we go? Was that sex? It just lulls you into this sense of security and then Matt and Micah just go, uh oh, here we go. Like, wow, it just takes off, dude. It says here that the narrator is destroyed emotionally. They have voices telling them that they're going to die alone. Perhaps calling back to killing time. Yeah, maybe. And also starting to believe in their grief. They blame outside influence for their relationship falling apart rather than taking accountability. Oh. And it has no transition between the drums and that bass coming in too. So maybe that's supposed to symbolize a little bit of like that jarring decision of like, no, I'm not gonna do what I know that I should do. And now we're in Twilight with a vampire in the corner. Vampire in the corner, am I scaring you off? I wanna dance, I wanna learn how to love. Okay. Someone call the corner, cause you're breaking my heart, my God. I think I might have loved you too much, baby. Ooh, vampire in the corner. Oh, a departure. Oh, and I, I like that resolve. Oh, 
That's a hit. I mean, I, I, I think that's just so... Oh, these transitions, dude. Oh my God, this is so fantastic. I just love music that makes me think too, you know? As fun as some of the like straightforward, big pop girly tunes are fun because it kind of just feeds it right to you. This stuff that just makes you think a little bit differently and just consume a little bit more of like a, like a musician's palette in the production, it's just so fascinating, man. Also very much gives me like that one meme of the person in the corner at a party being like, they don't know I'm a vampire. And everyone's like, we all know. <laughs> Let's get into the, yeah. Watching TV. Got that drum machine again. And speaking. Hey. She's leaving a voicemail? Still sounds so friendly. Oh, maybe not. You see what I mean? Oh, wow. Oh. Whoa. What if I don't want to? Whoa! It's time to me. And ending on that major. Oh, but with the scary, with the scary strings. Oh no. Oh, oh, and we're transitioning into the next one. I feel like I'm starting to black out a little bit. You know what it reminds me of? A Radiohead's Creep. She kind of has that like weird delivery and also it, it, I think it in, uh, implies one of the same chords. Wow, dude. I love her just kind of checking in, you know? Like a couple times on the record, she just kind of checks in and she's just like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> like, okay, thank you. Micah, it's Mika? Mika, okay, sorry about that. I just love the fact that like, even throughout all these songs as like scary and emotional and kind of like trippy as they can be, it's always been kind of groovable, you know? Like that's really tight. Oh, so scary. Don't take my disc. She gave it to me. Tunnel vision. Okay, we're locking in. Wait, this clap. You should not drive with them off if it's dark, just so you know. Whoa! <gasps> oh, wow, hold on. Listen to all these. I love just the little things in the back. And we get some harmonies. Not where I thought we were gonna go. Oh. Oh. oh! the groove! Okay, no, that's a Zelda synth. Okay. Whoa! No! 
Oh my god, what even was that, dude? That felt like a freeze frame, but like in the context of a song. are popping off towards the end of these songs. Sounds like Crash Bandicoot on the keys sometimes, or at least on like the modulator. Like Andrew Huang, the YouTuber, utilizes a lot of these like modular synths. I think they're called modular synths. You kind of play them by running, I, I'm, I'm only assuming a very direct waveform into it, and then by like it says modulating them all with the frequencies and crazy kind of stuff. They imply a lot of that towards these kind of chaotic sections, and it's cool. I just get crazy lost, dude. Where where are we going now, dude? Where is this tunnel ending, bro? I felt like in the chorus of that, we kind of slowed down. Like there was a little bit of trepidation in that chorus, but the next song is Love Is Everywhere. Love. Love is oh, they're comfortable now. Oh, the bass line. Dude, this is me geeking out about bass lines for, for pretty much like three hours, man. Look inside through holes in the sky. Oh, I love the slap bass, man. Oh, dude. Sunny side up and ready to fry. Yummy yums. This has got that kind of 70s band psychedelic feel to it. Ooh. Dude, these synth lines are stupid. Oh. Dude, I love her personality in the vocals. Excuse me. Oh, that's so Earth, Wind, and Fire. Oh, 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 oh. That's gonna be stuck. That's the stickler right there. They got some great little riffs. Oh, and the strings. Dude, this girl is a damn melody machine. Oh my god, listening high would be insane. That was a lot more straightforward than I feel like a lot of the tunes on here. I like it. Really cool to see that they have so much in a variety on the album. Like, it's not just like a full conceptual thing. It's like, no, like, there's just good old tunes in here, you know? The next one is Feeling Disconcerted. Disconcerted? She feeling my disc until it's inserted? <laughs> Back in the audience. Oh. Okay, I see the stage. Look inside through the sky, all around us. Whoa, so harp? Am I floating through heaven? On a satellite? Wait, isn't that like the next song? Oh no, it's a few songs away. Oh, yo. Oh shit, that one was only like less than a minute. <laughs> I didn't even realize it was less than a minute. I love how much they're playing with like the reverbs and the spaces on the songs. Like when I say reverb, I might not be able to do it here, but see now it's dry. But if I go, that's like the dry signal with the wet signal of the reverb. And what they're doing is they're taking a lot of the dry almost completely out, so you just get just the reverb. Like that's not really you hearing the instrument yet, that's you he just hearing the reverb. And it's very cool to how they're kind of like playing with it around. I love that kind of stuff. The next song is 
That's my floor. Sounds like a Stanley Steamer like advertising bit that just did not make it. Hey, you seen a floor? You've wanted to call that floor your floor? Well, now you can. We'll steam your whole shit. I mean, you are you make your floor your floor. You're gonna have a, I just threw up a little bit. You're gonna have the best floor. It's not funny. Laser beams. I gotta know who's playing bass, dude. Is it Mika or is it Matt? Who? That's my dance floor. That's my goddamn dance floor. I'm about to strut my shit. Okay. Oh man. Change. Love the laws, dude. Fuck it up. Fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah. Make sure it doesn't sound good. Oh, no, that's so fucking cool. God damn it. Yo, that's my floor. See, now I'm saying it like, like I'm trying to hype up the floor. Yo, that's my floor. Making me stand floors, dude. Making me stand on floors. Okay. At Stanley Steamer, you can stand on your business by standing on our business. Please. My wife is leaving me. Okay, sorry. The next one is cry for me. Oh my God, and we're back. No time to rest. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay, this is not, it sounds like a cowboy showdown. Who doesn't stand a chance? Who? Oh, God had other plans? <laughs> it's an evil Abba! That's so stupid. That's so dumb. Oh, where are we going? Oh, now we're really in the tunnel. Oh, we're facing off. Oh, no. This is the big bad. Holy shit. Oh my god! It sounds so cinematic. And those vocal harmonies coming in to save us! It's like, no, but we have our friends! <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, man! The harmonies in that strings? Ah, oh, dude, that that lit that that run right there. Wow, dude.
And it's a fade out? Whoa. Okay. So I just read that apparently this is like a song written from the perspective of like a villain. Oh. Oh, is that wind? But it's not actually wind, it's... It's a white noise. Making the wind in the rain? On the windowsill? Oh. Angel on a satellite. Oh, that's sick as fuck. Like sur- like surfing? Bongos. songs as we've gone through the album have kind of like been simplified into a little bit more of like a organic production what is that is that the engine oh Oh, wow, dude. Okay, they really did pop off on these transitions. Wow, that was lovely. That was like a breath of fresh air. Damn, man, play that thing. Makes me think of summer winds. The places that I know, just the ones I love to go. I swear that through your eyes, everything is brighter all the time. Everything is turning off. And damn, man, play that thing. See, and like, as we get that next line of the turning off, she's telling him, play that thing again. She must feel like an angel on a satellite. So high, elevated to such an extent stent by this man playing that damn thing. I love that. What a cool track. All right, the last one is the ballad of Matt and Mika. What is that? But it works into the groove of this song. Oh, now it's quiet. Whoa! I love their synth choices, dude. Hey! Come on! Oh, not yet. Whoa, dude. Yeah, valid way! 
you get that really nice 70s kind of, uh, oh, dude, it's, it's where you play the triad of the four chord, but you have the five on top of it, and it gives you this really satisfying resolve because the four wants to go to the five, but the four also potentially wants to go to the one, so, so you get a whole bunch of suspension in that one last chord. A lot of, like, Stevie Wonder songs do stuff like that. Oh, that's so fun. Dude, these synths are so fun. Oh my god! Oh dude, no way! No wrong notes. I'm sure they are firm believers in that. It loops. Shut up, no way. Oh. Oh, and we get it back with... That's kind of a nice thing that you get when you have like a little cassette to start off the first song, right? Wow, what a journey this was today. Holy shit. Dude, I have a new band to be obsessed with. <laughs> This is so rad, man. So much production elements that are just so much fun to go and grab onto. Yes, all those bass lines are fantastic. I love the vocals. The vocals stick out in the mix so well. They're so experimental in their sound too. Like it's really cool that like she sticks around with like the, the personality driven, like very poppy, uh, like vocal melodies and whatnot, but they're just not afraid to get weird, weird. I think just as a musician, I gravitate to that kind of stuff. You're just not afraid to push boundaries. Wow, that's so sick. I am gonna have such a blast listening to this again and writing my review on AOTY for this one. It's gonna be high praise. You might've seen it coming. Yeah, this kind of blew me away. So feel free to follow me over there as well as on my other social media. That is gonna be a wrap for your boy. I'm gonna head out of here, gonna jump my ass into the closest body of water that we have. So as always, stay happy, healthy, and strong. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.